Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Panzer Corps 2, an upcoming turn-based strategy and war game by Matrix and Slytherin Games. This is episode number 6 in our series, looking at the North African 1941 campaign. This game includes 5 campaigns, one campaign that looks at the entire war, one that looks at the Eastern Front, one that looks at the desert, uh, and each of the Eastern Front and deserts have two variants, a 41 early war campaign and a late war campaign. We're looking at the 41 desert campaign, uh, playing as uh, the Desert Fox, Rommel. Uh, this is the third battle in the campaign. We're fighting the Battle of Crusader, uh, which is a, another British attack on our positions. We've begun a counterattack. We're flanking the main Allied thrust along the uh, ch along the um, the coastal road, and we're trying to drive east and uh, knock the enemy back and retake some of these key cities. This is turn number four in this game. This was pulled from a live stream from a couple of days ago, and uh, that's a, probably all the intro you need. I'm going to go ahead and step out. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you at the end. Uh, turn number four. I think we're about done. Um... So I guess we'll just go ahead and end the turn. Move forward to turn number five and see what uh, what the enemy has in store for us. More attack air over our armor at that airbase. More enemy armor coming in here. That was probably a wasted 400 prestige. They're shooting those guys up. Meanwhile, the spit... Uh, those aren't actually... Were they Spitfires or Hurricanes? Hurricanes, more attack air against our uh, armor. Strong counterattack coming out of the direction of City Omar against our recon unit there. Didn't quite destroy it yet, though. They did badly shoot it up seems like the the strength is kind of going out of the enemy counteroffensive just a little bit we've destroyed a bunch of their units here Did our infantry force them to surrender no but they can push them into another position where our other infantry can come up and finish them off so another enemy unit destroyed more cheap reinforcements coming up moving our armor East across the desert, we'll have a recon fall back. The nice thing about re recon is they can both move and reinforce in the same turn. Um, this armor up here needs to reinforce. But I think I'm going to rebase these guys up to Gambit up there. So many smoking wrecks. Move our armor down. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention, and I spent all my reinforcements already. So we'll attack that enemy crusader again. No casualties for us driving it off. The infantry and Barda will hang out. Swinging across the desert. With great speed and ferocity. Relatively quiet turn, I think, here. As we attempt to rebase or reposition our troops. These guys, no money for reinforcements for them. Oh wait, this is an airbase. Nice! So I can rebase these guys to the middle of the map. Uh, meanwhile, there's an uh, enemy hurricane there. I should go ahead and knock out. Apparently you can rebase and attack in the same time. So that was a effective rebase there, knocking out that enemy air unit. Every little bit that we can do to weaken these guys I think is important. I don't want to take that casualty there, so I'm going to leave that armored unit there, and we'll continue driving on City Omar. The interesting thing is we've heard so much about Tobruk. Oh, shoot. Did I sleep at units? We've heard so much about Tobruk, but we haven't actually done anything. We haven't seen Tobruk yet. We're fighting over the same battlefield we basically fought over last time. But now we have, it says two Tobruk up here in the left. Oh, interesting. There's a British flag up there. I don't know if we can move up that way. I'm guessing there's like enemy units here that are in place that we can't do anything with. That makes me a little nervous now. They can just like come up behind us and kill us. 
More air units there hitting our armor. Almost destroying it. They did drive us out of the airfield there. And they pursued and destroyed. So they finally overran that armored unit after three or four turns. More attack air, more enemy armor coming out of City Omar. Heavy attacks here coming out of there against that lead armored unit of ours. Encircled. You're retreating the wrong way, you guys. You know that, right? Okay. All right, well, they overran that, that armored unit and destroyed it. There was an enemy air unit there, wasn't there? Oh, there he is. Okay, there's a Boston. I want to fly these uh, 109s forward here and engage. Apparently this guy's too far away, so we'll just rebase him. Okay. And we'll finish that enemy unit off. Every turn that we knock out enemy air units is a good turn. Okay. No, don't want that. Can we undo? Yes, we can. Wow, that's a little cheesy. Fog of War revealed something I didn't want to fight, and so we were able to back off. Whatever. I'm 100% okay with that. We have so much artillery coming down this way. Why are we taking such heavy losses? Is it just this enemy two-pounder? Is it an anti-tank gun or something? Nice. That recon unit is now in the enemy rear, so all of this stuff, I think, is encircled. So we couldn't quite force it. We couldn't quite destroy it, but we did drive it back. Got it. There we go. Used our Stuka there to destroy it. And we moved our armor down this way. They could race west and go for the base at Gambit. That is actually something I should be a little bit concerned about. Um, I don't think they can get there in one turn. But you'd think they'd They'd come relieve the force at City Omar with the bulk of their units there. So we'll see. I think that's everybody. Probably going to go for Barda next, I would guess, with those armored units up here in the north. More TAC air showing up. More enemy armor. They encircled this anti-tank gun here. Some flak coming up. Okay. Oops. Clicked on the wrong button. Got him. Another enemy tactical air force unit shot down. Um... So we got that two pounder, we drove that back.
attack that infantry, then fall back with the recon vehicles. Two, one, two, one. I'm actually going to swing that way because it opens up a slot for our infantry to come down, although it didn't quite work out the way I'd hoped. Go ahead and pound these guys. Okay, then our Stuka can come over here and hit, the, hit these guys. Infantry can come up and attack. Do some damage, drive them back. Then our 110s can come over here and hit them in the desert. Do a little bit more damage. Then our battered tanks can come up here and finish these enemy off. They also get the overrun, so then they can drive south and engage these guys who are now encircled. Alright, these troops will get hit. these tanks down here to finish that infantry off. Move these tanks up here. Oh wait, shit. No, undo. I got an overrun there. I want to pursue, right? Yeah, I'll go after them. Okay, so we get the overrun there. We move this armor forward here. Hopefully knock out this anti-aircraft gun. Get the overrun against him. Move this guy over to shield these damaged tanks. We're not going to quite attack these Matildas yet, but it does shield these guys. Swing these down, reinforce the anti-tank guns. Then I think we've got one more air unit that still has to rebase. Go ahead and do that. We can rebase and... No, we can't rebase and replace. Rebase and replace! It rhymes! Alright. Move some of these guys north to that base, just in the event they want to swing west. They didn't really come after us at Barda, which is kind of surprising. Maybe it's not a objective for them? I'm not quite sure. But turn number seven, I still got a lot of bases out there that we need to retake. I'm not going to attack that infantry quite yet. Recon will reinforce next turn. Move the artillery forward here to support the attack on City Omar next turn. I think we'll take the city. I think we'll take City Omar next turn. Move as much of our artillery forward as we can. So end turn number seven, move to turn number eight, and we'll see what's up next. All right, so they are moving infantry on Barty. Wow, seven casualties on that enemy armor? Why did they move into a... Is that a swamp terrain? Why? Or, no, it says countryside. That's weird. Maybe it's just because we're so entrenched. All right, that enemy armor attacked and failed and then pulled back. All right, let's use our fighters here to go after this Lysander. Surprised they don't die faster. Please finish them off. I don't want to use a... Okay, good. I don't want to use a 110 against it. We'll use the 110 there against the enemy artillery. Stuka here against these already battered infantry... Or this, this battered tank. Um, we'll swing our armor wide. It'll free a little bit of space up for our artillery to come up in here and hit the city. Nice. One to four. I will take that every day of the week. Auto cannon. Um, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so our two armored units attack there. Badly shot up that enemy anti-tank. We'll go ahead and encircle the infantry in that city. Finish off the enemy armor there. I may not actually take the city this turn because I do think I need another turn to soften the city up a little bit. Like I don't have... I don't have the required units adjacent to the city to actually attack it. And some of my units are a little bit weak. Okay. I don't have pioneers. I don't at least I don't think I have pioneers. Um Okay. There there. Okay, so that'll end turn number eight. We'll move forward to turn number nine. So the infantry, interestingly enough, attempts to attack out of the city. They do a little bit of damage on that auto cannon, but not much. Meanwhile, their armor pulls north towards City Aziz up here on some high ground. Fuck! The tank moved in and took Gambit in the rear. Drive north, Ama. All right, just what I was worried about. Whatever, it doesn't, I don't think it'll actually seriously delay me. All right, let's go ahead and pound this city into oblivion with all of this artillery. So much artillery. <laughs> that was easy. Keep driving them back, my boys. Keep driving them back. Go ahead and strafe. Can you destroy him and get an overrun? No. That's kind of what I was hoping for. All right, they're encircled, so maybe we'll knock him out there. Nope. Gonna keep chasing him across the desert. All right, those auto cannons kick ass. I haven't seen much enemy air force lately. Okay. All right, we're going to move the artillery fort as well, so it's in a position to support the next turn's attack. Towards Sid Aziz. Okay, so they're making a stand on that high ground up there. Let's also move our recon car back. We'll move it back toward Gambit, just in the event that we need a little bit more troops than we thought we would. Uh, let's reinforce those fighters. Just in case we run into enemy armor that surprises us. 
All right, so move forward to turn number 10. I don't think there's any way I'm going to retake all these bases by the end of turn 15. I guess we'll see. So their infantry attacked and got butchered. That artillery support really helped. Less so there on the 88s that they just shredded. Why would you do that? Why would you knowingly pursue into a vice grip of death? Okay, so we're trying to reduce the enemy up there. That enemy infantry in the open looks the most vulnerable. Nice. High ground auto cannons against tanks on a desert floor. Shred them. I mean, they should be encircled by now, I would think. But they're just going to keep driving into our rear, causing problems, huh? All right, so I think we got them there. Got them. Okay, now... These are special forces? Okay. I'd rather pound those guys. But if we have to. Zero and five, I'll take it. Actually, we might still have some fighters. Can't quite get there. So we'll have to settle for this. Next turn we'll probably finish off Sid Aziz. Then we can switch to try and go back toward the Haifa Pass. Which actually is the only other objective other than the one up north that we have to take. So we might actually get those. Okay. So I think we're at the end of turn number 10. It's probably my last break, if you will, in this battle. So let's go ahead and hit the end turn button and see what the game has in store for us. I really, you know, this is the first time I've ever played this battle. So I really don't know if we're losing horrendously or if we're actually doing okay. Um, because, I mean, frankly, I just don't know. Two. Oh, we're definitely going to do the 110 there. I'd get more, more deadly. All right, we retook Gambit. We drove the uh, armor out. And the good news is now we can fly our Stuka up here, and we can do more damage to these guys. All right, so hopefully we can finish him off next turn. I do think we have to retake this airfield. Pound these guys with as much artillery as we can bring to bear. So we took it, we took the base, we drove them into the open. Swung around their rear, retook the airfield, and knocked them out. Great. Very good result there.
Okay, so we encircled these guys. I don't know if I just opened Barda up to an enemy counterattack or not. I guess I was really hoping we would have. Force them to surrender. Okay. Meanwhile, in the south, we're driving them back, driving them down Solom. We'll have the Haifa pass under artillery fire next turn. So I'm hoping we can retake the Haifa pass next turn. Finish off this pocket of troops up here in the north. And then be good. Oh, oh. Enemy armor counterattacking out of Haifa. Or Halifa. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Infantry coming forward here probably to attack my artillery. The interesting thing is I've got multiple artillery pieces firing in support. So that attack was far less effective than I think it otherwise would have been. They were heavily suppressed. Um, so... Drove these guys back. Are oh, they not dead? It says they're in rough desert, but I can't attack them. Can I bomb them? I can bomb them. Apparently, you can't attack in a rough desert. Stuka three, three. So I'll get the three with that Stuka. Alright, so we drove them back. Hopefully we can finish them off with this 110 here. No, so our armor will come out there and finish them. Overrun. Drive back that way. Okay. So we drove this armor up north. We're going to finish them off there. Or not finish them off, but we'll give them a bit of a, a nudge there. Continue them driving away from us. Maybe this uh, auto cannon here can finish this up. Not quite. Move our units over there. All right, Raj Infantry, what do we want to do? I can't really get at these guys very effectively. So we'll have to spend a turn finishing this infantry off that decided to come out and face us. So we drove them right back into the base, which apparently they had vacated. But it actually looks like we can attack them directly next turn. So that'll be nice. This armor's south, and I think we'll go for that next. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Trying to finish this up. I, I think we're on the verge of victory. On the verge of victory. That sounds like it should be the title of a novel. On the verge of victory, the historical gamer story. Alright, so we've got two more turns. Oh 
Oh my god, I just took horrendous casualties. I figured I would have pushed him back on one of those attacks. None of them did. I didn't even use my air support. I don't even think they can get there. Oh, they can. Some of them can anyway. The rest of them are going to have to rebase. So we'll rebase forward here for the final two turns or so. God, they keep running. Get him. I don't know why I couldn't attack those guys in the rough terrain last turn. I have no issues attacking them here this turn. There we go. Got that infantry to surrender. Okay, so we finished the troops off in the north. We finished the troops off... Well, we're working on finishing the troops off in the south. With one, with one turn left, I think we will win. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pound these guys. Let's reinforce that artillery. All right, so we move into the... Alpha pass, and there's your victory. I don't know, it was weird. The battle almost said like you were gonna have to retreat because it showed this arrow of like, and then you'll have to retreat. But it, it didn't end up doing that. That was weird. In any event, it's another victory, so that's good for us. All right, everybody, and that's gonna do it for episode number six of our first look at Panzer Corps II, an upcoming turn-based strategy and war game by Matrix and Slytherin Games. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts down below. The next battle is a counter-offensive against the British in the desert, so we'll get to go back onto the offensive, uh, but that will be for another time. So until next time, as always, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, we're out.